Hi, John here. This is Up For Excel. What I want to do is make sure that this stays, these two axes stay the same. And if I've just moved, sorry, if I move this chart over here a second or down here slightly, one of the ways I can do that is create a max point. So I can put this anywhere, it doesn't really matter, but I'm actually going to put it as a line on the bottom. I'll just say max equals the max of all that area. Four, five, three. And then I'm going to plot that number. I'm going to introduce that number onto the chart on both the primary and the secondary axes and then um, ensure the data is invisible. That way the axes will automatically adjust as if they have the same maximum value in them. So I'll do that now. Where I do that is I go back to the design of the chart and select data. And I'm going to introduce a new series and I'm just going to call it max p for primary. And on the value here, I'm just going to say it's that value. Okay. And then I'm going to add another one and call it max secondary, max s and put that one on as well. Okay, so I have two new series now, max P and a max S. I click OK. And you can see what's happened immediately is that it's put these two new bars on which are a right pane. So the first thing is I want to plot one on the primary axes and then the other one needs to be plot on the secondary axes which it is. And if we move this one back into view again, you can see we generated a slight problem again in that we've shifted everything off center because we it now thinks we have a new series to plot. So everything's slightly off center. Now the way we're gonna get around that is change the chart type of this. So that max P I'm going to say is now a line. And this one I'm also going to say is a line. Okay, well, we're back in business. We also have a legend, but we have these nasty sort of entries in here that we don't really want. So by clicking on that individually and hitting a delete key, so two clicks, one to click select the legend, the second to select the item, hit the delete key, and we can get rid of that. I also like to see my legend at the top, so right click, format that legend and put it at the top. I can do something along the lines of that. And I'll move that chart title over there. The chart title, what I always like to do, if I just move this whole chart slightly, is put the chart title here and then link it. Let's get this chart itself looking good. Both axes are the same. So we can certainly hide the secondary axes. We know that they're going to be the same every time. If we go to labels on the axis options, and instead of saying next to label, we say none, and we can then also expand that slightly. If you're interested in learning how to produce the clustered stack column chart featured in this video, then click the link to download the free template in the description. There's a video tutorial link in that workbook that will show you how you can do that completely from scratch. Good luck and I'll see you soon.